It's really nice to be back in Chicago. We're from Australia. I'm Kelly and I play bass. I'm Georgia and I play guitar and I sing. Yes. Right. And my name's Tomo and I play drums. How did Camp Co form? It started with us. Well, like I was like a solo artist. Me and Tomo were friends, so I didn't know she played drums. And then I found out she played drums, roped her into playing with me. And then I met Kelly like just like by chance. It was fate. I just invited Kelly through a friend to come and jam. And then we jammed and it just felt right. I just always wanted to start a band. I could just never find the right people to play with or who I didn't feel like embarrassed around. And you're still looking for those right people, but we'll do. Right, we'll do, yeah, we'll do. <laughs> what are our musical influences? Oh, there's, I don't know if there's one that's like, like, makes us sound like we sound. I guess we all have pretty different tastes. There's a middle ground of like a whole bunch of stuff that's like musically similar, people that we admire that like, you know, do just good stuff within the industry. And the issue of sexual assault and music kind of has gone hand in hand for as long as punk gigs have been happening. And I would like every man in this audience to have a conversation with a friend who's a man about these issues and this is how we're gonna change it. Because it's not the women and the gender diverse people who need to change, it's the men that need to change. Because we're not doing anything right now. Just the, the social commentary in the song is I don't sit down and be like, all right, I'm gonna write a song about this. It all just kind of, things just kind of pop into my head and I like write it down and then kind of like piece it together and then it kind of makes sense and it creates its own meaning. We were at like a show like last week and we all be like, it was like us two, and we walked like backstage through like a hundred men. Yeah. And it just felt so uncomfortable, and it reminded me of what Falls Festival felt like. I feel like we just said some facts and yeah. people got mad about those facts, the facts that there were no women playing the main stage one day when there should have been. They're all just kind of put on like these smaller stages because women are expected to bring smaller crowds by these big industry types. It had been spoken about for months before, but they didn't really do anything about it. You know, we'd spoken about the lineup and how we wouldn't have agreed to play a festival that was, you know, just 150 white men. We could see it, we could feel it. We knew so many artists that could have been on the bill but weren't asked. It got to the to the time and then it was just like, we're just annoyed, this is just. If you're not gonna listen to us in private, then I guess we have to tell it to you in public. So then we got in big trouble, but that's okay. <laughs> There's still a lot of work 
to do. The the reaction that that tiny comment that we made got is like proof that it's not good because it's just a statement of what's in front of everybody's eyes. That article, you know, many articles that talked about it, it you know, there was comment sections of people like discussing it and like whether you get negative comments or positive, it's like people are talking about it and that's better than people not seeing it or even acknowledging it. So that to me is a positive step. Treat them like until they disagree. And never reflect to think when they I guess there's a lot of people who don't want anything to change, so you cop a lot of criticism, but it's like, you gotta just keep going. Well, we wouldn't be able to do what we do if we didn't have each other, and I think other women need to reach out for other women for support, and like, that's gonna make all the difference. Do what you wanna do, and don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it, because they will tell you all the time. <laughs> yeah, and you just have to like, know that. You just have to know that like, They've told everyone. These old men are gonna try to make you feel horrible and try to make you stop what you're doing, but use that as fuel to keep going. My success is gone.